Good evening. It's an unsanitary problem. The human feces left behind by people living on the streets. Many people don't realize it's often not the city's job to clean it up. Now a couple city councilors are trying to change that. News 13's Annalisa Pardo reports. As the city continues to address its homelessness problem, one aspect of the crisis hasn't gotten much attention. I started getting a lot of phone calls from constituents that they were having to clean up human feces from their alleyways or their front yards. Councilor Tammy Feeblecorn says there's more than 3,800 unhoused people in the city and only one 24-7, 365 public toilet located at the Uptown Transit Center. It's not surprising that there is a lot of human feces around. In the last calendar year, 400 people reported feces to the city's 311 portal, who also may have had to clean it up. Right now, city policy states it's up to the property owner to dispose of it, which Feeblecorn says isn't right. And I think it's the city's responsibility to clean that up. Certainly not the responsibility of the individuals who happen to live where there's an alley. Saying not disposing of it properly can lead to transmittable diseases and leaving it on the streets is also a problem. It washes into our stormwater management system and ends up directly in the Rio Grande. Now counselors, Feeblecorn and Nicole Rogers are stepping in, co-sponsoring this bill that would allocate $100,000 to contract with a company trained in biohazard waste to safely dispose of human feces. We just need to make sure that we are doing what we need to do to clean up human feces that is bound to be found in our city at this time. If passed, people could report the issue to 311, which would then dispatch the company to clean up on both public and private properties. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE News 13. The bill is scheduled to be introduced to City Council on Monday.